This was an incredible transformation. You'll see, we bleached her and we toned her. In the crown and front fringe, we toned her to a level nine and everywhere else, we dropped down to a level eight and the tone is violet. Click the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up. She came in in need of major surgery. She had been doing her hair at home. She had been using a no lie relaxer and she had been overlapping the product. She had been applying the relaxer to hair that's already been relaxed. And then in between, she was wearing a wig. And so where the hair created friction in the upper crown and around the sides, all of her hair broke off. So what you see me doing right here is I'm going in and I'm trimming off the uh, relaxed hair, the devitalized uh, ends. Underneath all of the relaxer damage, she really has a beautiful coil pattern. Her individual hair strand diameter is fine, and her hair density, that's how many hairs per square inch, is super dense. So what happens is, in the past, a lot of hairdressers will use a heavy hand because the hair is so dense. When in fact, they need to use a very delicate hand because each individual hair strand is fine. That's why her hair color is already oxidizing. The pigments are oxidizing out of the cortex layer as I'm applying the first pass of bleach. That is a good indication of how fine each individual hair strand is. When the hair strand is coarse and thick, it takes longer for the bleach product to penetrate the cuticle layers and get into the cortex layer to oxidize the uh, pigments away. If you're applying the bleach on the first pass and your client's hair is already starting to lift, that is a good sign that you're going to be able to get a clear lift to a level nine. Just like a relaxer, bleach causes the cuticle layers to swell and the product can get into that cortex layer. And once inside the cortex layer, not only can it um, oxidize pigments away, but you can also smooth and break disulfide bonds, okay? That's why you can elongate the curl pattern. Now, I'm not saying you can straighten the hair, but you can definitely elongate the curl pattern by combing through while the bleach is on in the last phase. Now, you wanna make sure that you use bond protectors before you apply the bleach, and you want to add bond multipliers to the bleach formula. You can see her elongated curl pattern. Those straight ends tell us where relaxer is still on the hair. And this is her hair dried under an ionic hood hair dryer with a little bit of our nourishing lipid serum. We'll cut her hair into a style and remove that excess straight ends after we've completed the toner. We're going to start by sectioning her hair into five panels. We're using a Demi Permanent Hair Color to act as our toner. We're gonna to use two formulas, one for the crown and the front and left panels. And formula number two will be for the upper back and the lower back. For both formulas, we added collagen and B3 Bond Builders. There are so many new bond protectors and bond multipliers on the market. And in our master classes, in our hair color master classes, we go deep into which bond multiplier or bond protector to use in which situation. Some bond multipliers are better to add during the bleaching and some bond protectors are better to add in the final step to the toner. We add it all the way around. We protect the bonds, we add bond multipliers, and we add the uh, B3 bond builder to the toner. You'll see how fantastic the hair looks. Now her hair is natural. She doesn't have a relaxer. We didn't even give her a keratin treatment. Her hair is natural. We went in with the bleach to uh, lift the pigments out and help elongate the curl pattern. And now we're going in with the toner. For textured hair, I prefer to use Demi Permanent Hair Colors as the toners. I get the best saturated effect when I apply the Demi Permanent Hair Color as the toner to dry hair. 
Demi permanent hair colors have very little to no ammonia and most of them have a very low uh, level of developer that acts as the catalyst. Oftentimes it could be six volume or perhaps nine volume that you need to add with the demi permanent to make it develop on the cuticle layers. When you're only using a catalyst at 6 or 9%, anything less than 10% uh, of a developer, then you know right away that it's deposit only. Demi permanent hair color are acid based and they often contain really good conditioners that leave the hair healthier after you've used the demi than before. You'll see, this was our client's hair before we bleached it. Each individual hair strand is fine and her density is super dense. And this is after we finished. Her hair is all natural. We didn't use a pressing comb. We uh, used a flat iron. And we dropped a little keratin on top. She'll be back next week for a full keratin smoothing treatment. The right haircut and the right hair color can change your life. We go deep into it in our master class. Come visit us on our platform at beautywellnessharecare.com.